and she wants to yell at Donald Trump because he showed up, she can, she can go to hell. Juan, could you tell us more about the altercation that happened at the Arlington Cemetery? Um, and two, uh, what does debate prep look like for yourself and for Trump at this time? Well, I, I think, first of all, the altercation at Arlington Cemetery is the media creating a story where I really don't think that there is one. There is verifiable evidence. There is, there is verifiable evidence that the campaign was allowed to have a photographer there. There's verifiable, they were invited to have a photographer there. There's verifiable evidence that the families of these poor people who had their loved ones die three years ago at Abbey Road, they had, excuse me, Abbey Gate, those 13 Americans, a lot of them were there with the president. They invited him to be there and to support them. That's not an insult to the memories of their loved ones. They wanted Donald Trump there, and thank God that we have a president who stands with our veterans instead of one who runs away from them. Now, we... Now, it, yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is amazing to me that you have apparently somebody at Arlington Cemetery, some staff member, had a little disagreement with somebody, and they have turned, the media has turned this into a national news story. You know what I think our veterans care a lot more about? That Kamala Harris's VP nominee lied about his military service. I think that our veterans care a lot more about that. And the other thing that our veterans care, the other thing our veterans care a lot more about is that three years ago, 13 brave, innocent Americans died and they died because Kamala Harris refused to do her job, and there hasn't been a single investigation or a single firing. I, I don't, I don't, look, sometimes mistakes happen. That's just the nature of government, the nature of military service. But to have those 13 Americans lose their lives and not fire a single person is disgraceful. Kamala Harris is disgraceful. If we're going to talk about a story out of those 13 brave, innocent Americans who lost their lives, it's that Kamala Harris is so asleep at the wheel that she won't even do an investigation into what happened, and she wants to yell at Donald Trump because he showed up. She can, she can go to hell.